we're here in the Tamango Reserve in Patagonia looking for endangered waymole deer. We just hiked in about four hours to our base camp and then another hour to where we are now. The way it's going to work is we're looking for these endangered waymole deer which are historically fairly abundant in this reserve. Uh, however, they've been decreasing in number over the past few years and that's a bit of a concern to the local conservation effort here and uh, we'll be bushwalking it just about that direction using uh, the GPS and compass to guide us. If we see a deer we're gonna stop take a waypoint on the GPS. If not we're just looking for any sign that we can find, tracks, uh, scat. Hopefully we'll see something and I'm excited, looking forward to it. I began the hike in some pretty thick brush, which eventually gave way to open terrain. Despite going through some good waymole habitat, I was only able to find some old scat. See down a little bit darker underneath. Uh, I don't know if I want to say exciting, but um, it's something at least. It makes it at least a little bit worth it. Good sign anyway. Even though we only saw a sign, when we returned to camp we learned most other groups got skunked as well. The hiking itself was uh, varied from uh, serene to arduous and uh, everywhere in between. Pretty thick brush at some points but um, also really nice open forest and some spots that I would have sworn we would have seen one but no luck. Yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> Well, here we are, day two of the Way Mole Survey, about to start. Uh, we just hiked up from base camp, a lot longer of a hike than yesterday, almost four hours. Sort of went straight up about 500 meters from base camp and then traversed along the ridge for a while. Now here we are, hoping to see something today. Not, not too fruitful of a survey yesterday. Just one group saw a way more female with its yeah. uh, juvenile and <laughs> that was about it just some tracks and scat for everybody else so hopefully today we'll be a little luckier seeing something so yeah ho hoping for a good turnout today What just happened, Lainey? Well, we are, we're about eight minutes into our survey, and behind, to the right of us, we saw a male waymole deer just laying in the, in the vegetation, eating, eating some grass. And we crept up on it, got close enough to see that the tag was number eight. Um, unfortunately, I think we scared it away, but we got pretty close, got a good look. Looks like it had some patchy fur going on on its hide. Um, yeah, pretty exciting start to the survey. Hopefully not the pinnacle. <laughs> My survey partner for the day, Lainey, and I got lucky early in the day and were excited to continue. So we finished up the waymule surveys today. Uh, personally, I saw three, which was pretty exciting. This morning, right at the start, uh, Lainey and I saw one male by himself. And then 
later on, maybe an hour and a half, we saw uh, what we think was a yearling female by itself, and, and on the way down we saw a third, which was the same one that had been seen yesterday with a juvenile, uh, and it had been seen by another group earlier that day. So quite productive, I'd say, for the surveying over the past two days. Uh, it's good to see that there are still Huemul hanging around here in the uh, Tamango Reserve. Uh, and there could be any number of reason for why they have historically been seeing fewer here than usual. Uh, they could be moving over to the recently uh, converted Chacabuco Valley, which was uh, private land for a while, and now it's going to become the future Patagonia National Park. They could be going over there. It's just adjacent to here. Um, and there could be, you know, more predation here as well. There could be many conclusions you can get from it, but it's always exciting to see them. Um, and I'd say it's been a pretty good experience to be able to do these surveys and uh, something that will definitely be remembered for a while by everyone that was involved.